When communicating about transgender rights, I think it's important to have an historical viewpoint. Let's look back thousands of years, back to Mesopotamia, 5,000 years ago in which humankind really started growing. Agriculture, writing, communication, collaboration, society. And then let's look at 100 years ago. And 2020 will be the 100 year anniversary of women being able to vote in America. Think about this. Your mother, your sister could not vote, could not represent their thought, even if they were literate, even if they had land ownership. I mean, think about how ridiculous that is. We could go into slavery. We could go into other different instances. What I'm trying to say is that just as everything in terms of historical relevance, of progress, of change. It takes time. I believe that 2020 will be the year that transgender rights actually makes a priority. We have representation in the military. It is clear cut in terms of bathroom laws in which a person uses a bathroom in which they identify themselves with on a gender basis. And if you look at what happened with North Carolina, the economic lashing, they took when they made that change. If you look at what's happening in some of the progressive states, but I travel and I hear people's thoughts and I would encourage everybody to have an objective standpoint and really look at all the things that are facing America, the income inequality, climate change, the nuclear proliferation, all the different problems we have and not judge one another. There is much bigger problems we have than judging others on their sexual viewpoint. America Equality 2020.